Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AMJ here and I am back. Yes, I am back to my old ways and that is making videos. I'm not going to rant about how I'm back or what I'm planning to do. I am just going to say I'm going to keep making video in the times that I have um, chance to do it and I do promise that I will try my best to put more effort into it this time around. There's been so much that's happened to me in the past one year, uh, which I hopefully at some point I'll be able to discuss it with you guys. But for now, I just want to talk about a couple of topics that have had me going back and forth on Instagram. Keep watching, relax, and let's get into it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is... I don't know if a lot of my viewers will know uh, about this particular topic but it's something that has been going on now for like I think about two two weeks or three weeks on Instagram and it's it's basically trending in Nigeria actually um, there is this musician popularly known as Naira Mali and um, basically there's been some sort of glitch that has got that's happened and he's been arrested for um, internet fraud basically which is commonly known in Nigeria as Yahoo Yahoo I think the term Yahoo Yahoo came from when I think back back in the days Yahoo Yahoo email was what was uh, was the email that was really common more than the hotmail so a lot of people were using internationally basically they were using Yahoo Yahoo as in the Yahoo email what was happening then is people were using the email to defraud people by sending them a couple of emails saying oh i'm prince of this i need some money to sort out my things and people were just basically using if they get a hold of your email address they can use it to get access to you to communicate with you you open that email you're thinking oh and this person need help and you send the person money meanwhile the person not really needing help they just wanted to take your money so basically the term came from that so he was arrested and now the EFCC I'm gonna put the full meaning of what EFCC here on the screen they arrest him they're in charge of all this criminal um, defrauding embezzlement and all those kind of things so they they look into they're like an investigation kind of a, a group that look into it and then they capture you when they feel like you've got evidence against you to do that Speaking of evidence, what they've done regarding Naramali that for me that's a little bit shady is the fact that they post it on their Instagram page. They didn't do a press release. Uh, well, that that's a form of press release now since social media is taking over almost everything regarding passing information. But they didn't do a formal proper press release because one thing is Naramali in the way you guys in the way yes is said is um allegedly arrested for internet fraud now he is not an ordinary person on the road he is a well-known person he's even he has a dual citizenship i think he's half british um well i'll call him half and he's british and he's nigerian so um so much is so much has happened and for me i felt like there could have been some sort of a proper tv um under the umbrella of the investigation uh, could have come out and explained what's going on but instead they posted a thing on their Instagram page expecting the whole Nigeria and even the people that don't have phones, people that don't subscribe, people that don't use the internet to know about what is going on. And I guess after they posted on Instagram, they, know, they, they did some sort of um, news, newspapers that actually carry the news as well. But I wouldn't know the specific newspaper that carried it because I actually don't live in Nigeria right now at the moment. But one thing I was just like worried about that got me with a weird look is the fact that they've got credit card numbers on the thing, the 11 charges, the charges, they've got, they found this, if I could read what it says, actually let me grab my phone, one minute, um, and go to the EFCC Instagram page, I'll try and pull a screenshot if I could on um, this, the, in the screen right now so you can have a read about what I was trying to say. So I got the first one, so they said, Count one. So they had eleven counters, and then the first count was um, Aziz Adeshino Fashola. So basically, that's his full name. Um, basically, they said within the jurisdiction of this honourable court, conspiracy against yourself to use access to use access card number blah blah blah, blah issues to person persons other than you in the bid of obtaining gain and your 
and you are hereby committed an offence. So they said, if we, if I if I am correct, they said to use access card number. So basically, they said he, he wants to use it, or maybe he has to use the card. But they didn't put the date that he used the card or what he used the card for. Now that is the bit that got me confused because if you've got evidence of somebody got credit cards, did they use the credit card? Like that's, that's what I want to know. Like I would have preferred they would have put it there. If they truly evidence are there that, you know, it's committed a crime because they've got this card details, blah, 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 that he used on this so, 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 so date, on this so, 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 so website. Because and that means you are full, fully thoroughly investigates to see that this person have used all this credit card. They've got 11 credit cards of people on Instagram. I mean, anybody can still try to test these credit cards online. That is if they have not warned the people that actually own these credit cards in the first place. And there's nothing here to say that they have spoken to the, each of these person that own this credit card so that they can warn them before they post it on Instagram. That is the bit that I'm like, okay. Imagine, for example, it's my credit card. Obviously, almost everybody has had issues with their credit card. They, um, they didn't spend, use it to buy something and they get a bill that somebody used it to buy something. But for me, it's just like, I would want you to tell me, I would want you to send me an email, I would want you to get the name of the person that owns a credit card, check which bank, email the person, contact the person saying, look, this is, we're under investigation, such a such a such a person, on this is a certain day, we would like you to contribute to, we would just let you to know that we're going to post, put a press release out there, and your credit card number will be there, so we'll advise you to block the card. They've got 11 credit cards. According to them, they've got no, not 11, sorry, they've got nine actually. I, I, I stand correct, so just have a look at it again. They've got nine credit cards and they just blast it out there. So if these credit cards are real credit cards of real people, you are putting these real people in danger because all the so called Yahoo boy can go on it. Anybody, even if it's not Yahoo, anybody can just go and do a shopping and have this credit card number on it. And then find access to what bank it is and play around with the numbers, play around with the expiry date, play around with the three digits number that you have to put in check. Out. Everything they can do that. Just because you want to punish or you want to uh, make somebody feel the pain or make somebody go through the law according to you, why expose the real people that you claim you're protecting him, protecting them from him? Why do that? And the second thing that's a bit shady for me is the fact that I don't see his lawyer. Where is his lawyer? I'm sorry, but where is his lawyer? Now, what I also heard is that he oh yeah, obviously he went to court and he denied um he pleaded not guilty. So he denied doing any other any of those things. Um one thing that was also come out is the fact that he said it's the laptop is not his. So there's so much that I feel like is going on on the ground. This just feels like Justice Smollett all over again. Like give us real evidence. Give us the day you actually use a credit card. That's what I wanna know. The day you actually use the credit cards. Evidence. What do you use the money for? What was the person? I need real hardcore evidence. Okay, so then the second topic I wanna look into guys is our very dear Lee actress celebrity king tonto herself so we all know who king tonto is if you don't know who king tonto is i'm gonna pull her picture on the screen now she called herself king tonto because she feels like she's a king and nobody can stop her from being a king not even her ex-husband can stop her from being a king and she named her son a son king as well because obviously he's a cute boy and she would like him to be also be a king as well Anyway, we're not going to get into the um, definition of why she called herself a king. We're just going to go straight to the topic. And now the topic I want to talk about is the issue that everyone is having a go at her on Instagram regarding her new endorsement deal with Zikel Cosmetic. If you don't know what Zikel Cosmetic is, it's a makeup brand in Nigeria that almost... Um, it is one of the biggest one in Nigeria right now actually like I could remember so, uh, a past time that I wanted to purchase some of their stuff as well like the they've got this palette for um, powder and they've got different shades on it that you can just use they've got eyeshadow palette they've got so many things they almost 
the same thing as your everyday revolution in a way make a revolution in a way but it is quite big and coming from nigeria and then the product is good that a lot of people still use i've seen a lot of makeup parties that use it is it's big obviously now the, the makeup itself is not the issue the issue that's going on is the fact that tonto dk king tonto said that um she will be getting paid 100 million naira for doing an endorsement for Zeki Cosmetic. Now everyone is saying, where would they get 100 million from? What is, is, is Zika Cosmetic Mac? Is Zika Cosmetic um, a, such a big brand that will be able to pay Tonto DK 100 million naira? But for me, I'm like, what if it's possible? You see, the thing, what, the thing about social media that tends to baffle me is that the fact that people see a topic and they're like, oh, I'm going to jump on it. Oh, I'm going to do that. It, it makes me laugh. I spend a lot of time on, on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, just reading comments. If you're part of the comment section society, make a comment down below <laughs> so I know the people in our group. <laughs> so I know you that we're in the same society, you know, the same society. But anyway, um... For me, I believe that it's two ways. It is possible that she could be paid, she could get paid 100 million naira to do an endorsement. Reason is, if you look at the history of Tonto DK, I would say the first celebrity that I know in Nigeria that had, that I've seen their face on something and I was like, oh wow. And that thing is something that is very huge in Nigeria and very huge even in in uh, outside nigeria that a lot of people would have make use of it which you could have also make a lot of money from weave on i remember growing up i would see tonto dk picture on weave on like that used to make that i didn't know because then you remember when you were young you used to see all these little all these pictures that is on actual products and so the other what the babies one even on the hair i used to see them the weave ones i used to see them um people pictures I used to wonder who they are so the first time I saw Tonto Dickens picture on an, an actual weave on and I'm not talking about one weave on they were like about different varieties of weave on and if you know Nigerians very well we are known for our weave on like we are here for that synthetic before all this lace closure thing came about people were on it on that weave on and I remember my mom's got five girls and I know other people that have got girls here in the UK they will ship this hair here and then we will use it and people will still be asking us, where did you get that hair from? And then people, I, there is even African shops here that sells them. And that's just within my own area. Imagine everywhere else. So do, do you think the company would have paid her a little money back then? Of course not. So what, what do you expect would happen now? That we are in, in this sort of age. She's got a huge Instagram platform. She's got her own products. There will be product on the uh, Zika cosmetic that we made under her whole name I know for sure I will buy it if it comes out whether it's lashes whether it's eyeshadow palette I will buy it because it's the same way I will buy Tammy makeup by Tammy palettes it's the same way and then I feel like one of the main reason why they chose her is because they believe that like the, the way when I was reading about um what the products were made, the guy in charge said the products is the CEO said the product, some of them are made in China, in the UK, and the US. Now they will want to take their products there, obviously. So for me, with Tonto, the, the kind of platform Tonto has, she has platform everywhere. Everybody knows about her, especially for what has been going on in her life recently about the whole heart box that she's been doing. She has a YouTube channel as well, which I'm sure she's going to put this product on it as well. And they are going to get in the money in big buck. They are sowing, according to them, 100 million into her in profit, what they're going to make <laughs> with this investment. I know for sure they are planning to cash out more than 100 million that they pay her. And um, the thing that I'm a little bit obsessed with, I'm going to say it, if you like, agree with me, if you like, don't agree with me, is the fact that there are makeup artists in Nigeria that actually use Zika Cosmetics and they are not celebrity. 
However, they are celebrity in their own fields, in their maker field, with the YouTube channel, with the platform, with the customers that they actually use this product on. Now, I will say, if you want to give a celebrity, you got a budget of 100 million naira to give, why not split it? Why not have multiple um, ambassadors? Like, now, she called herself influencer. Okay, cool. Back in the days, yes, celebrities were influencers. They were the one that would send products to you to promote for them. But now we have YouTube influencer, we have makeup influencer, we have Instagram influencers, you have almost every teenager that can, can talk that has the best instagram page that has the best youtube channel and then it's trending and then knows people and they can talk and can get information out there you are an influencer everybody is an influencer these days why not look at those makeup artists that are there trying to get job done trying to promote your work some of them will even use their own money to buy your products and then make videos and then tag you to post it and then some some I read through comments that some of them say they don't even post it even after begging and they don't even do that. But for me, I just feel like you could invest in those people as well since their daily use is makeup, their daily talk about their daily job is makeup, whereas you are doing makeup. Make use of them. Send them free product. Look at what Rihanna does. Look at what all these big brands do. They send all these influencers free gift so they can promote. Sometimes they don't pay them. Sometimes they pay them. But having the products, having to be recognized is one of the part of way you can make use of getting your products out there. Anyway, guys, so much has been talked about today, and I do hope you enjoy. I do hope maybe some of my the points that I make really make sense to you guys. And whatever you guys think, if you think I'm wrong, if, um, AMJ, what you said that you didn't like it, put a comment down below, and we can discuss in the comment section. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It's a family channel, so come in. Let's discuss. Let's chill. Let's talk together. Let's be beautiful together. I don't use Zika because messy, but if you're watching this Zika because messy, you can highlight your girl. I don't mind. I'll do promo. I'll be an influencer for you. <laughs> Till I catch you next time on what is trending on social media, I remain your girl AMJ, and I'll see you next time. Bye.